Over the past 20 years, alcohol consumption has fallen slightly in OECD countries. But young people and women are drinking more. Alcohol is becoming more easily available, more affordable, and advertised more effectively. The share of children under 15 who have been drunk has jumped over the past decade, from 30% to 43% among boys, and from 26% to 41% among girls. Overall, better educated, wealthier people are more likely to drink alcohol than others, but less educated men are more likely to indulge in binge drinking, as are better educated women. Today, alcohol consumption in OECD countries is estimated at an average of 10 liters of pure alcohol per person per year. That's equivalent to 100 bottles of wine or 200 liters of standard strength beer. Most alcohol is consumed by the 20% of the population who drink the most. But four out of five people would benefit from drinking one unit less per week. That is, one small glass of wine, a half a pint of beer, or a single measure of spirits. Today, alcohol causes more deaths worldwide than HIV AIDS, violence, and tuberculosis combined. Everyone pays a heavy price through traffic accidents, domestic violence, and the extra costs of policing and health care. The benefits of reducing harmful drinking are huge. The OECD says four steps would reduce the damage done to individuals and society. In prices, by increasing taxes and setting minimum prices. In promotion, through greater regulation of advertising. By physicians and other health care professionals, by treating problem drinking more effectively and by police through stricter enforcement of laws against drinking and driving.